What's up YouTube and today uh, this is Robbie with Robbie's Reviews and today we're going to talk about the Ryobi Power Tool line with their 1 plus 18 volt system. Uh, first tool we're going to talk about today is going to be this Ryobi uh, multi-tool. Comes with You can get several different attachments for it. This is going to be your detail sander. Uh, I have the jigsaw is also an attachment. Um, Come, you can get a right angle drill, small uh, cutting head. Um, it's pretty simple to d detach. You just push in these uh, two little buttons right here, and then it pushes off. Um, it has a small LED. <laughs> Quick, um, good battery life, doesn't absorb that much energy does have a magnet down here just for in case you're running screws for that right angle drill or whatever um, overall good tool pretty does a pretty quick job of rounding off corners and just, just small sand and stuff like that uh, I've only, I haven't used the cutting head I used the jigsaw on a couple things but uh, one part to this tool is if they don't make any Ryobi uh, rigid multi-tool is an it will also come they're compatible heads so uh, fairly fairly good deal there um, I haven't had any complaints nor do I expect to uh, part number on the head is gonna be p570 and on the handle is gonna be p246 Overall, I enjoy this. Quick, easy little tool to use. Pretty self-explanatory. Uh, you can turn this this way, like turn it the opposite direction so that the head is on this side. Um, doesn't matter. The Like with the jigsaw, I run it that way and I push down on the trigger so that the battery sticks up and I can get level with the jigsaw side. Um, so that's a little tricky if you want to use that. Uh, other than that, overall pretty nice little tool for the price. Uh, I want to say I paid 50 bucks for the tool with the sanding head and then another maybe $20 for the jigsaw, something like that. Um, uh, other than that, it's pretty, uh, price is good, tool is good, it's a pretty solid setup. Alright, next. Next tool I'm going to talk about is this 1 plus 18 volt uh, Ryobi Sawzall. Has an anti-vibe handle, uh, quick release, head change, you just this little flap here on the edge. Uh, has a safety lock on the trigger. Runs good. I've used this a ton of times. Uh, it does come with a little guard here. I took that crap off. Uh, it, I don't, it just getting in the way on getting in the way on some of the jobs I was doing with it. Um, overall, good tool. The anti vibe. I don't know where they came up with that because my only complaint with this tool is it shakes the crap out of you when you're running it. I mean, like, it shakes the mess out of you. Uh, no worse than any other saws I've ever used. So. If your saws all currently shake, yeah, this this one's gonna do it too. Um, but it's still a pretty good tool. It's I've been running it for a couple, two or three years. I can't remember now, uh, and I haven't had any issues. It cuts through anything. Uh, just run your standard saws all blades. It doesn't really matter. Uh, anyway, now we'll go to the next tool. This is the original Ryobi One Plus drill. Uh, I've had this the longest, probably three or four, years, almost four years now. Uh, does have two speed selector. Haven't had any issues. Has a magnet tray, has a clip for the bit, and has a <coughs> adjustable chuck. Um, three eighths chuck, maybe. Yeah, I think it's three eighths chuck. I haven't. Maybe. Yeah. 3H chuck uh, has a top level, you know, basic normal tools like that. Uh, part number on this one's gonna be P271. 
from what I hear, the tools run a lot better on the four amp hour batteries, but I haven't run them, so I couldn't really tell you the answer to that. Uh, overall, it's been a good tool to me. I've used it a lot, gotten good work out of it, and it's still kicking just good, so we'll go on and show you the next one. The next tool we're going to be talking about is this Ryobi 5.5 inch 18 volt circular saw. I've used this a ton. I never had any problems. It cuts through just about anything. Um, it does also has a safety release on the trigger. Uh, pretty dang good saw. Good adjustable deck. Um, part number on this is going to be P501G. Overall, excellent tool to have. I've used this m more times than most any tool in here. Um, I love this thing. So, if you need it, if you're in the hunt for a good circular saw and you're on a budget, about 60 bucks to take you home with this jug right here and it'll run you forever. Uh, maybe all these tools I think have a one year warranty, two year extended if you want to pay for it, but I never do. Uh, not 100% positive on that, but we'll go ahead and I'll show you the next tool real quick, and then I'll do a recap over all of them. This tool doesn't fall under the One Plus line, but it's just a Ryobi uh, polisher here, orbital polisher, a little six inch top, wired. I bought this to polish, just bust some scratches out of my truck, but uh, on off switch is pretty simple and self explanatory palm. Um, I wish I had gotten a bigger one because it's a little weird the way it holds. You have to hold it from top and side if you want to get it good and steady. Other than that, it does, it spins fast enough to take care of most stuff you're going to be doing at the house. Uh, professional detailers, I would not recommend though, but doing it at home, keeping your car looking nice versus buffing out paint defects may it would be a part it's a great tool uh, next tool on the list is going to be this half inch we talked about the other day um, I don't really have anything else to say about it besides how great it is uh, somebody commented on one of my the video about this one said they have noticeably more uh, power once you put in those four amp hour batteries so uh, if you're in the mood in the uh, Look for one of these joke, one of these half-inch impact guns. Uh, go ahead and purchase one. If you're going to purchase a Ryobi, go ahead and purchase those four amp hour batteries. Uh, the small batteries just apparently don't have enough power to push them. Uh, <coughs> this is going to be the final one plus tool I'm going to show today. It's the Ryobi three-speed uh, quarter-inch driver. Part number is going to be P two three seven. P237. It has three LEDs on the front. Spring loaded chuck. Um, once it's popped out, you just reach over. Um, yeah. anyway, you just reach over and push down. Once it clicks twice, it's locked in there, ready to go. It also has the magnet strip at the bottom. Um, I've had this a couple years too. I bought this about the same time I bought that uh, circular saw. And they they run circles. It does come with the belt clip, but I didn't put it on because I don't I'm not a contractor. I'm be hanging on my belt. But good tool too. Uh, final Ryobi tool that I've bought is this Ryobi um, bench grinder. Got your eye shields or whatever the hell. I don't ever use that. It's gonna have to come with a finer stone and a more coarse stone on the left over here. Um, when you run it, just plug in. When you run it, uh, it's it no vibrations. It's smooth as can be, and I don't even have it bolted down on here. Uh, the only thing you're gonna run into is if you're not careful these screws start touching this plate right here and uh, it's gonna make a noise you just pick that up a little bit 
I'm tall enough to pick it up just a tad bit and, and get it off the uh, plate here. And uh, anytime I need to use it, no noises whatsoever, quiet as can be. Um, part number on this is uh, BG612GSB. Uh, I picked this up at Home Depot on Markdown actually, because around Christmas time maybe, for $25. And I use this sharpen lawnmower blades, all kinds of stuff. Uh, I cut a, did a screwdriver with it one time, so it have a more of a sharp shank to it. But it's an easy gig. Uh, works well. Takes care of the job that you got to do at your house. It honestly would survive in a workplace too, especially for twenty five dollars. Um, anyway. We'll go ahead and do a quick overview of part numbers. Again, this bench grinder is BG612GSB. BG612GSB. Um, the quarter inch driver is P237. The half inch impact is P261. The Sawzall, which I don't know if we covered earlier, is P514. The multi-tool handle is P246, and the head is P570. The drill will be P271. The circular saw is P50G. And then finally, the polisher is RB60G.